What's up everybody? Thanks for joining in. I am super excited because just like two days ago, I received this in the mail. This is from my buddy Elias in Sweden. Elias, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce your last name, bro. Don't take it personally. I'll tell you how it's spelt though. Wait, let me look it up. Okay, last name is spelt K-A-R-A-N-Z-A-S. Like I said, I'm not even gonna try it. But that's what this thing in this package is named. It's a bobbin, a special bobbin he made. So let's open it up. This is like some sort of a carbon or poly something. It looks like carbon, but anyway, handmade feel, you know, and look to it. What? You don't, come on, come say hi to everybody. Okay, so I want to go over some of the features of this thing really quick. Um, you know, it's nicely put together, well thought out. You can lock your tension down, completely adjustable. Looks like it'll fit both large, very large, and very small spools because it's totally adjustable. Um, this is his little logo right there. I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, kind of. Um, ceramic tip here and I think that, that the stem length is adjustable as well if I'm not mistaken let me see oh, yeah see I can make this stem length really long if I want or really short if I want so that's pretty cool um, it's got a, a really I don't know like maybe it's got a this this part right here where you rest your I think you kind of rest your finger there, if I'm not mistaken. Like, that'll work pretty well. Kind of feels good in the hand. Let's, um, let's spool it up and see how it feels. Now, let me just do this really quick. Like, side by side with my kind of go-to, um, which is my right bobbin half hitch. We're size-wise pretty similar. Um, it has some more adjustability than, than the um, right bobbin. Of course, it doesn't have that proprietary tension system that the right bobbin has. I think this is going to be a little bit heavier. I was trying to see if I had a empty right bobbin right now, but I don't. They're all full. Um, I think it's a little heavier, and I think that the most of the weight is this solid, you know, like probably stainless steel screw here. Maybe it's aluminum. Actually, I think it is aluminum. Um, and then this hardware here on the back is most of the weight, which having the weight there is not bad at all because that's in the palm of your hand. So you don't want a bobbin that's really heavy out here on the tip where it's having to move, but the weight being in your palm like this, not a bad thing at all. Let's spool it up and um, let's give it a try. Six aught much more user-friendly for people like me. There we go. Let's spool this 6 aught up. Bushing there. This Everything functions very nicely on this. And the fit and finish is really quite, quite nice. Did I have that right before? I think I did. I think it goes this way. That helps it like self-center, I guess. So I'm able to set that tension to wherever I want it. Let me just cut this off and 
thread it up and um, we'll, we'll put some thread on a, on a hook, see how it feels. Ooh, I can't see. The lighting to make a video is way different than the lighting to tie flies. Makes it hard to see. First impression, I like it. That's like way too hard, so I'm just trying to back off the tension a little bit. Still lock it down. That's way too soft. Let me see if I can find the right. There we go, that might be something. Okay, let me find a hook here. Here we go. This is a, this is a Sabre 70-380. Okay, let me just adjust the camera here a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's put some thread on here and just get a feel for it. It feels a little loose right now, so I'm going to tighten it. There we go. Let's try that. Oops. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but when I was going around and around with the thread, you could hear like a wow, 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 wow kind of sound or a little click. I think that that could have been a defect in the tube, the ceramic tube. Don't want to throw stones. Okay, so in my experience, that clicking sound is generally not a good thing. And more times than not, it is directly related to a defect in the ceramic tube. The ceramic feels a little sharp. I'm not but I do have this tension set really tight, so so let's uh, let's loosen it back a little bit. Too loose. Mmm, just right. Let's give it a shot again. Give it a shot again. I have it looser now, kind of uh, in a little bit better of a sweet spot. Let's see here. Okay, that feels a lot better. Do you hear that little click right there? It might not be anything because the thread doesn't seem to be damaged or frayed. You can normally see the fraying right on the thread when there when there's a problem. There's a very small amount of fraying on the thread, but that's not necessarily from a defect in the ceramic. Okay. I'm gonna do some more tying on it. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with a bunch of a bunch of these bobbins I have around. I don't know what else. I've got others. But first impressions, not bad. Not bad at all. I really like the way it looks. It has a really cool look to it. And I think it's a great design. He's really doing something different with this. I like it. So thank you, Elias. I appreciate you sending this out to me. And we'll uh, play with it some more. See if maybe some strengths or perhaps weaknesses present themselves in this design. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I do have a trip report on Mammoth where I didn't catch that many fish, but it was still a good time. Um, so that's coming up. And I'm really excited because I have a trip booked for a week of fishing in Northern California with my buddy Matt coming up this summer. So that's gonna be some great videos um, coming down the pike. Until then, we're gonna be doing some more and over the winter some more fly tying as well so stay tuned until next time fish more catch more thanks a lot
Daddy.